Hello everyone and welcome back to my movie corner review. And today I'm going to be reviewing the movie Hellacious Acres, The Case of John Glass. Now, this is a newer movie, uh, 2011. And uh, yeah, it's about a man who just wakes up in the future and it's a post-apocalyptic and uh, aliens have is on this planet and what you perceive to be as earth now he wakes up and it's already kind of funny because he wakes up and he's being woken up by a computer is telling him about what's happening and why he has a suit on and well he wa he opens up and it's like a wooden crate so it's just silly in that way futuristic but he opens up in a wooden crate now um, from here on it's pretty funny because it starts to explain how he's looking around this world and he has to get to a computer on his wrist and it's like a like an old school uh, Nintendo power glove yeah where you just like push a little button yeah so that's kind of funny and really uh, it's funny because he, you you get to see at his eyes, through his eyes, what he's seeing in his mask, I guess. And it's very much plays out like you're playing a game. Like you're playing just a shooter game where he's just going down the list of what you could do. And his missions and how to eat and all this stuff. And that's kind of funny. So this, this movie plays like a video game. It plays like a video game that has never been made. So it's a completely original concept. So yeah, so he must find food. So he just gets on his little wrist computer and like tries to find it. Explains how to look for food in this post-apocalyptic land. So he has to go off and he's um, well, he has to try to eat. Explains to him how to eat. So he has to try to eat stuff. And well, he I will. When he does, like when he does this, it shows this like tube coming out of his backpack, and he eats from like he has to put the food in the tube, but he also like poops out of the same tube. <laughs> what do you what? What? No, no, sorry, no bias. I'm not gonna eat and, eat and poop out of the same. I'm not gonna eat out of the same tube I poop from. And he's like pooping poop and blood and all this white stuff. <laughs> So he's looking around this land, and he walks throughout this whole movie. Throughout this whole movie, he just walks, and that that's really the low point of the movie because it's just he's just dialogue, and you just see him, you just see him walking. And also, very beginning of this movie, like I don't know if it was the director's original concept to do it like this, but it, the whole movie is like filmed like it's from the early '80s, like film quality. Like you would see an old ass movie film like this. I don't know if he meant to do this. I'm probably giving him more credit than he deserves. But maybe. But maybe not. Anyways, yeah, so he's looking around this world, finds food, kinda gets uh attacked for the first time, and uh so he finds out about trans teleporters really, and all about that jazz where he has to take like some liquid to help him. Apparently the tra transporter has <laughs> side effects itself and the medicine that you take for the side effects for the teleportation has effects that are even worse. Um, side effects are even worse but yeah. So he takes it once and he is just almost dies it feels like. Yeah he said he like, almost dies but he finds someone else with this like like him and tries to get some answers, but sees that alien again, and the alien kills the guy. His like that he just found, and the eh, the special effects for this movie are like those of original Star Trek. You would see special effects. Oh, I mean horrendous. That's that's hellacious. You want to see some hellacious? That's the effects, special effects. But uh, alien kills him, and he, like you see this goo come out of his like helmet and stuff then uh well he takes his friend's arm off for the computer because his got damaged in the water trying to escape from another alien 
So that's it is he's just traveling around with this arm, just like listening to the recordings to see what it's yeah, so so that's kinda of funny to see him do that, trying to talk to an arm. And uh well so he's lays down, trying to get some sleep at a bar and gets woken up by aliens, a little group of aliens who finds him in this little bar and he finds a transporter and gets takes the medicine, gets on the transporter to escape and he just goes bat crazy. Just crazy as a loon after he gets out. Starts, uh, yeah, puts his, he just goes nuts and then it's like insane. But he wakes up, he's just like talking to the arm now, like it's the real guy, he's still there. And uh, the arm's talking back like it's really hell. And so, they find like Sector South where he was looking for. And they, he, he is on top of this hill, he sees like Sector South down there, the bottom is burning. And he doesn't know what to do, so he just sits there and he sees some man, like, running up this hill. And as the man gets closer, or he gets there, you can just tell, like, the, well, in this world, everybody has to have masks and suits on. So he has, like, masks and still a lot of stuff, but, like, he's pretty much naked from the waist down, except for boots. Or oh, neck is really from, like, almost the chest down, really, so, except for boots. And <laughs> I was like, naked guy, you know? And he's being chased by the aliens. And so the John Glass, which is our hero in this, he thinks he knows how to stop him. So he try, tells the guy to get behind him. He's got it. The aliens stop for a moment, but then they just keep coming. And they just, the guy, the naked guy runs and they kill John Glass like that. End of movie. I'm not lying. The credits show him, show naked naked post apocalyptic guy just keep running in the woods. This naked guy running in the woods. That's that's the roll that's the roll credits. Are you serious? I think this movie was made in Canada. The casting was in Montreal, so I'm gonna say Canada. Oh man, entertainment value. I don't know if there's really much here. I mean again the story just got old by you see him walking so much it just almost puts you to sleep sometimes. But entertainment if you like Games, if you like playing like shooter games or you like post apocalyptic games like Fallout, then you're gonna find entertainment in this movie. It's funny and you're gonna like it because I found it, I did find it a little bit humorous, it was entertaining a little bit, but as a movie as a whole, it's just a big letdown. And it's supposed to be like it won awards in other countries. I don't know what the hell they were showing in those movies, but they must have been trash compared to this. I mean, as you can tell, this has been like. A select, one of those um, bloody, disgusting selects. I don't know why. But yeah, uh, it was an okay movie. Okay movie. Uh, worth reading and if you want to watch with your buddies and just have a good laugh about it. But other than that, it's just, I don't even know. Might get it for a like, You might rent it for a dollar if that's worth it. A red box or something. But uh, yeah, I hope hope you guys like this review. And that's this. that's pretty much it. You know, and uh, like I said, uh, if you liked it, you, maybe you should try to rent it or something yourself. So, hope so. This guy's obviously, uh, he needs some money after this, because this, it must have took like $5,000 to make this movie. I'm not, I'm not kidding. I couldn't find anything on it. It must have been like $5,000. But, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys again on my next review. I can't wait. Do another one. I'll see you guys again. Thanks for watching. Bye.